The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have all the parts needed to assemble your rig. For the Reflex SR5, that includes a shoulder pad, two counterweights, a mounting plate that will come pre-attached to a quick clamp, two 15-inch rails, another quick clamp, two quick handles, two thumb screws, and a pack of Allen wrenches. Before you start assembling your rig, it's important to check all the threaded holes and the screws to make sure that all the threads are clear and that there's no debris that ended up in there. Otherwise, you run the risk of cross-threading something and ruining a part of your rig. Let's start by assembling the shoulder pad. You'll see on the counterweight that there's a set screw and one of the Allen wrenches will tighten this down on the post on the back of the shoulder pad. The shorter thumb screw is used to attach the shoulder pad to the quick clamp. It's easier if you pre-mount your camera onto the mounting plate before attaching this to the rails. We've included a couple nylon washers with the thumb screw for the camera in case you need to adjust the length of the threads to fit your camera. In this case, we're using one nylon washer. Now that we have all the pieces assembled, we just have to put the rig together. We'll start by placing the rails into the shoulder pad and cinching down the quick release. Next, we'll take the camera with the mounting plate attached and slide it through the rails as well. And once again, we'll cinch down the quick release. Lastly, we'll attach both of our quick handles and tightening them down by spinning the handles. Your Reflex SR5 is now assembled and ready to shoot with. The angle of the shoulder pad can be adjusted by loosening the thumb screw, twisting the shoulder pad, and then once you find a position you like, you go ahead and tighten it back down. Since this isn't something that you'll frequently be adjusting, it's best that you tighten it down with an Allen wrench to make sure that it doesn't come loose while you're shooting. All of the thumb screws can be tightened with an Allen wrench, if need be. The tension on the quick clamps can be adjusted using an eight millimeter wrench on the lock nut. To tighten it, simply hold the clamp and spin the lock nut. You might wanna do this if you're having trouble with the rails spinning when you're using the handles, or if you're using somebody else's rails that may be slightly different sizes than ours. 